Hello, my name is Robert Edwards, and this is your professional vocal warm-up from Voce Vita. Before beginning this app, if you have any misgivings about your voice, by all means, see a doctor, preferably an ENT. If you're confident that your voice is healthy, proceed. Before we get into the exercises, there are a few things to bear in mind. The single most effective thing you can do to accompany your warm-up is first to breathe steam. This is especially important before any performance or vocal session. If you don't own a facial sauna, bring a small pan of water to a boil, put it on a table, huddle over it with a towel, and gently breathe the steam. Another good idea is to turn the hot water on in the shower and turn your bathroom into a temporary steam room. Additionally, it doesn't make sense to warm up your voice without warming up all the musculature that supports your larynx. What this really means is warming up most of your body. At this point, see Appendix EX for a more thorough description of the stretches and exercises that are beneficial for you to do before singing the patterns. If you don't have sufficient time to do the stretching phase of the warm up, do the vocal pattern standing on one leg. This will instantly improve your posture, your balance, and subtly warm up some of the muscles you need to sing with. More than just warming up, this application is a thoughtful exercise program for maintaining and improving your voice. Before we start the first pattern, here are a couple of pointers to think about. Good singers share some of the following habits. They breathe as frequently as necessary. In other words, when warming up, breathe any time you want to. Also, don't stand too still. Moving around is relaxing. Additionally, good singers don't try harder physically as they sing higher. Your body will do that for you if you become more emotional as the notes get higher. High notes are supported by emotional intensity far more than they are with your body. Support high notes with your mind. As you sing higher, think that the word gets smaller. Don't do this physically, just remind yourself that this is going to occur. The better any singer pronounces any word, regardless of any pitch it's associated with, the better the singer sounds. This is true for all words and all singers. This is one of the most important things a singer needs to know. When warming up, keep your mind on your diction. Don't pull the back of your head down. Keep your face level. Warm up slowly. Pause and rest between each pattern for about 15 or 20 seconds. Remember, what you think about when you warm up is as important as your vocal sound, so concentrate. When warming up, you want to maximize harmonic balance. Therefore, don't smile. Don't over-open your mouth by dropping your jaw, which will remove all the upper harmonics. And don't sing breathy. When you hear your voice ring, it's right. You will notice a lot of sobbing and weeping sounds in these warm-ups. That is because basically there is almost no physiological difference between crying and singing. You were born knowing how to sing, and only circumstances have made you sometimes feel otherwise. Every time you sing, you become the person you really are.